Good afternoon, all participants I shared 2020. Let me introduce myself. My name is Shuroso from UNES, Indonesia. On this occasion, I would like to present a research paper about conservation education by the Karang River Community Group. On the first slide on the screen, explaining upon the background problem that I raised on this paper. The current watershed consists of upstream and downstream area which have different problems. On the upstream area, there are many indications of land use saying from agriculture and forest to settlement and industry. Well, on the downstream area, there are a lot of reclamation carried out. There are real that initially functioned as a water hurting and absorption turned into an um, impermeable area. This condition are what make the current water seed to be categorized as watershed critical. The issues raised in the people, how the way and rule of conservation education in increasing community capacity for sustainable river management. Meanwhile, the purpose of the people Identifying community activities in river conservation, analyzing various forms of conservation education, and the communities related to river management. On the second slide, explaining about the method used in the people. The subject studied were the stakeholder who have interest on the river and the respondent really government official member and community leaders variable of focus research said in the people community capacity in education and river management Data collected by means of observation, interview, and documentation. Analyze data is done qualitatively. On the third slide, show analyze research and discussion. The research of the first analyze describes the conservation activities that have been carried out by the community in the Karang River area. Organizing, developing, and synergizing potential with available local wisdom. For example, the urban activity carried out by the Lara Village community and the mechanical conservation for soil conducted by the Gunung Pati district community. The result of the second analysis explain the form of conservation education carried out by the Karang River community, education during harvesting to achieve increasing infiltration capacity top on the media of corn and infiltration well. Water short conservation education accompanied by the practice of planting trees around spring. The practice of making river weir or fodder along the river channel. The active flood control, educational of agro conservation of productive crop to achieve household food security. The result of the third analysis describes strategies carried out by the community in conservation education to create coordinated, integrated, synergistic 
and synchronous for river management. Therefore, conservation education is divided into three skills, namely short-term conservation education, target, compiling, compiling regulation and advocacy on river management, medium-term targets, micro watershed, spatial planning arrangement, long-term target strengthening community capacity in river management. On the fourth slide, in the condition, conclusion and this uh, condition, conclusion of the discussion of the people. Recently, the form of conservation education that has been carried out by in the current river community is education to rain harvesting, education for water resource conservation, agro conservation education. Secondly, the conservation education strategy of divided into three skills, short time education target, community understanding of regulation and advocacy on river management, medium term target, community capability in developing micro watershed spatial plan, long time target, strengthening community capacity in river management. Third, the current river community group succeeded in collaborating on river conservation with local wisdom, such as the Irrigan Baylor Village community and the conservation of mechanical land by the Gunung Pati community. Slide 5 show the differences seated in writing these people. That is my presentation. Thank you for everyone's attention.